गुड इवनिंग माई डेयर स्टूडेंट्स सो वेलकम टू माई चैनल डिजाइर टू लर्न विद मुकेश ओके सो टूडे इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ एन सी आर टी क्लास एथ जोग्राफी दैट इज रिसोर्सेस सो विदाउट बींग लेट लेट यू स्टार्ट टूडेज वीडियो सो दिस वीडियो डील्स विथ क्लास एथ जोग्राफी फर्स्ट लेसन दैट इज रिसोर्सेस so first of all what are resources so resource is anything that can be used to satisfy a need that means something which satisfies our need is called a resource so for example the water you drink when you are thirsty the electricity you use in your house the rickshaw you use to get home from school the textbook you used to study are all resources so these are all resources okay so water is a resource which satisfies our thirsty okay and electricity is a resource which can give us light okay to study to do different works it also can give mechanical energy for different purposes we can rotate a fan we can uh, watch television like that and also by rickshaw we can get home from school okay and also you know there is a uh, textbook okay so we study textbook okay so these all are resources okay so these are all resources so resource is anything that can be used to satisfy a need okay so also the fresh vegetables that are used to prepare a tasty snack for you are also resources okay students so what are the two characteristics of resources so there are two important characteristics of resources first one is your utility or usability what does it mean utility or usability is what makes an object or substance a resource that means those are being used by you so they have a utility so a substance has utility that means the substance can be used for some purposes okay so all resources are utility or usability that means all resources can be used for a purpose they can satisfy our need okay so things become resources only when they have a value so this is the second characteristics of resource that is value so use or utility gives a value if something is usable then that thing cost some value all resources have some value okay so value means worth some resources have economic value and some do not have that means for example metals may have an economic value economic value means what students economic value means they can be exchanged for money okay for example we can exchange gold or silver okay for money we can also exchange some grains like what we call rice okay dal bajra okay sugar cane okay we can exchange so all these have economic value okay they can be exchanged for money okay if someone pays us some money we can give them our grains like rice dal bajra also we can exchange silver gold so these resources have economic value but students a beautiful landscape may not have economic value we can only enjoy that okay we can't exchange a beautiful landscape by money so some resources have economic value that means they can be exchanged for money and some resources don't have economic value that means we can't exchange them for money okay then both are important and satisfy human needs although 
a beautiful landscape does not have economic value that means we can't exchange a landscape for money but they are important and they also satisfy human needs okay when we saw a beautiful landscape we feel pleasure okay we feel pleasure okay students so gold is a resource which have economic value we can exchange this by money okay but a beautiful landscape we can't exchange so a beautiful landscape has no economic value okay next some resources can become economically valuable with time your grandmother's home remedies have no commercial value today but if they are patented and sold by a medical from tomorrow they could become economically valuable that means students some resources don't have economic value at the present time at the present moment but after some days or some decades they can be have economic value they can be converted into resources which have economic value for example nowadays your grandmother okay grandmother has knowledge of some remedies okay but those have no commercial value no economic value but if one day they will be patented and sold by a medical okay then your grandmother's remedies will have economic value they will be converted into resources which have economic value okay so next is time and technology these are the two important factors that can change substances into resources okay both are related to the needs of the people okay as per the needs of people time and technology are the two important factors which can change substances into resources so to be resource there are two characteristics one is utility or usability another one is your value okay so when a substance okay got changed to something which have an economic value okay and also utility or usability we can use so that will be called your resource okay so time and technology are the two important factors we can change a substance to a resource okay so these are the two important things time and technology okay next is resources are anything that has utility and adds value to your life the value of each resource depends on its utility and some other factors also okay for example silver and gold have economic value that is they can be exchanged for money we have already discussed okay so the factors that determine the utility of any natural resources foremost are human beings because only they have the ability to recognize any substance as resource followed by time and technology okay which transform a substance into a resource okay so the factor that determine the utility of any natural resource foremost are human beings because only human beings are those which have the ability to recognize any substance as a resource who can transform who can transform a substance into a resource okay by time and technology so we the human beings only have the ability to recognize any substance as a resource okay when we uh, convert a substance okay to be usable okay and have some economic value that substance converted into a resource okay resource is nothing but a substance which has some economic value and which have utility utility means usability usability means those which can be used for some purposes okay so time and technology are the most important factors which can transform a substance into a resource okay so people themselves are the most important resource okay it is their ideas knowledge inventions and discoveries that lead to the creation of more resources okay so we people have a knowledge okay inventions discoveries we made okay and these lead to the creation of more resources day by day we are finding more and more resources okay each discovery or invention lead to many others the discovery of fire led to the practice of cooking and other processes while the invention of the wheel 
ultimately resulted in development of newer modes of transport. The technology to create hydroelectricity has turned energy in fast flowing water into an important resource. Okay, students. So when we discover or invent something, that leads to discover and invention of other things also. For example, when we discover fire, we also discover the practice of cooking. We learn the practice of cooking. Okay, and when wheel was discovered, uh, that means invented. Okay, so ultimately that leads to lead to development of newer modes of transport. Now we have a highly transformed, well-developed transport system. Right, students? So the technology to create hydroelectricity. Hydroelectricity means by flowing water, by fast flowing water, we can get energy, electricity. Okay. So this hydroelectricity converts or yields electrical energy, electricity by the use of fast flowing water. Okay. So next is some keywords are here. We'll discuss. First one is your patent. Uh, patent means it means the exclusive right over any idea or invention. Okay, it is a right. It is a right over any idea or invention. That is patent. Next is technology. Technology is the application of latest knowledge and skill in doing or making things. Next is stock of resource. It is the amount of resources available for use. Next is sustainable development, carefully utilizing resources so that besides meeting the requirements for the present time, also takes care for future generation. So that is called sustainable development. So next students, types of resources. Now we will discuss different types of resources. So resources are generally classified into three categories. First one is your natural resource. Second one is your human made resources and third one is your human resources. So what is the difference between human made resource and human resource? Human made resources means those resources which are being created by human. Okay. For example, your building, road, these are the human made resources. And human resource means that includes itself the human. The human beings are the human resources. Okay. We will discuss more about these few things. Let us go. So next is natural resources. So resources that are drawn from nature and used without much modification are called natural resources. So the air we breathe, the water in our rivers and lakes, the soils, minerals are all natural resources. So those resources which are drawn from nature, okay, those are called natural resources. The air, water, soil, minerals are the examples of natural resources. Then many of these resources are free gifts of nature and can be used directly. In some cases, tools and technology may be needed to use a natural resource in the best possible way. For example, we can use air, we can use water and soil directly. Okay, but the minerals are the natural resources which have to be transformed by use of technology and tools. We have to transform minerals okay to usable things okay so minerals can't be used directly okay for example we collect uh, ore okay from the ground and we convert them to different ornaments okay like that next is Natural resources can be broadly categorized into renewable and non-renewable resources. So natural resources can be categorized into two types. One is renewable and another one is non-renewable. So what does this mean? Uh, first one is uh, renewable resources. Renewable resources are those which get renewed or replenished quickly. Some of these are unlimited and are not affected by human activities such as solar and wind energy. So solar and wind energy are the examples of renewable resources. Renewable resources means renewable. You can, okay, renewable. That means those resources which get renewed or replenished quickly. 
okay these are all limited okay these are not affected by human activities although they are being affected by human activities they can be renewable they can be replenished okay we can recover them okay so yet careless use of certain renewable resources like water soil and forest can affect the stock water seems to be an unlimited renewable resource but shortage in drying of natural water source is a major problem in many parts of the world today as these are renewable resources although these are renewable resources okay but we have to take care of them okay otherwise our activities will affect their stock okay so next one is your non renewable resources non renewable resources non renewable resources are those which have a limited stock once the stocks are exhausted it may take thousands of years to be renewed or replenished okay students since this period is much more than human life span such resources are considered non renewable resources coal petroleum natural gas are some examples of non renewable resources so these are limited okay if they get exhausted so they take so many thousands of years to be renewed okay so the distribution of natural resources depends upon number of physical factors like uh, terrain terrain means your landscape that means your land okay then climate and altitude okay altitude means the uh, height of uh, the place from the sea level this is called the altitude okay and the distribution of resources is unequal because these factors differ so much over the earth so this is the picture of coal which is an which is a non renewable resource okay these are limited next is human made resources okay so sometimes natural substances become resources only when their original form has been changed so iron ore was not a resource until people learned to extract iron from it people used natural resources to make buildings bridges roads machinery and vehicles which are known as human made resources so human made resources means those resources which are created by human beings so human beings use natural resources and they convert those natural resources into human made resources such as buildings bridges road machinery and vehicle by use of technology next is the distribution of natural resources depends upon number of physical factors like your territory that is your land okay then your climate and altitude the distribution of resources is unequal because these factors differ so much over the earth so the distribution of resources is unequal because the things that means the Uh, territory and climate and uh, terrain climate and altitude differ so much over the different parts of country different part of the earth so these are some examples of human made resources okay you can see buildings bridges uh, roads and your what we call car so car is also a human made resource okay then next one is your human resource so human resources people can make the best use of nature to create more resources when they have the knowledge skill and the technology to do so that is why human beings are also special resources and those are called your human resources so people that means human beings have knowledge skill and technology okay by the use of which they can uh, use different natural resources they can make uh, human made resources from natural resources okay so human beings also are the special resources and they are called your human resources people are human resources okay education and health help in making people a valuable resource improving the quality of people skills so that they are able to create more resources is known as human resource development so what is human resource development improving the quality of people skills so that they are able to create more resources so how can we improve the quality of people by giving them good health okay sound health and education good education we can improve the quality of people and their skill and their knowledge and that process is called your human resource development human resource development is to improve the quality of people that means the knowledge skill okay by giving them sound health and proper education that is called 
human resource development. Then the distribution of natural resources depends upon number of physical factors. Already we have discussed with this. Okay. So these are human resources. Okay. So human resources refers to uh, mainly the number, that means quantity, and abilities, that means mental and physical activity of the people. Okay. So what is mental ability and what is physical ability? Physical ability means if you are being able to carry 20 kg of rice or 50 kg of rice, that is your physical activity, okay? If you can be able to make 20 push-ups, okay, that is your physical activity. Now, what is mental activity? Mental activity is the process of thinking, okay? So the way you are reading, the way you remember some things, okay, that is that are your mental activities. You be able to do a or sum, okay, mathematical addition, subtraction, these are your mental activities, okay? So human resource refers to number and uh, abilities of the people, okay? Then though they are differing views regarding treatment of humans as a resource, one cannot deny the fact that it is the skills of human that help in transferring the physical material into a valuable resource. Okay, so women can only be able, well, they have the capability to transfer any physical material into a valuable resource by the use of technology. Next is conserving resources. Uh, so if we are not careful, then even renewable resources can become very scarce and the non-renewable resources once can definitely get exhausted. Okay, so using resources carefully and giving them into uh, them time to get renewed is called resources conservation. Resource conservation is nothing but uh, uh, to use resources carefully and uh, give them time to get renewed, get replenished. Okay, uh, so uh, what is sustainable development? Balancing the need to use resources and also conserve them for the future is called sustainable development okay so there are many ways of conserving resources each person can contribute by reducing uh, consumption recycling and reusing different things okay so next is uh, conserving resources so the future of our planet and its people is linked with our ability to maintain and preserve the life support system that nature provides okay so therefore uh, it is our duty to ensure that uh, all uses of renewable resources are sustainable. That means we will use and also we have to conserve some for our future generation. And okay, next one is the dis uh, diversity of life on the earth is conserved. Okay, different plants and animals are available here. We have to take care of them. Okay, we have to conserve them. Next one is the damage of two natural environment system is minimized. We have to minimize as possible, as much as possible. We have to minimize uh, the damages that we create. Okay, day by day to our environmental system okay so next is some principles of sustainable uh, development so first one is respect and care for all forms of life we have to respect and care take care of all forms of life any plants animals all things then improve the quality of human life we have to improve our quality okay by use of by getting good knowledge okay we can improve okay then uh, conserve the earth's vitality and diversity so we have to conserve the vitality and diversity that is available in here okay so minimize the depletion of natural resources we have to minimize uh, what uh, that means depletion of natural resources are being occurred day by day to minimize those also next is change personal attitude and practices towards the environment that is the most important thing students so we have to uh, change our personal attitude and practices towards the environment Okay, so that can only be able to uh, minimize the damage that we are being, that we are cre creating day by day to the environment. Okay, then enable communities to care for their own environment. We have to uh, make awareness, create awareness among people, okay, among the different communities, okay, to take care of their own environment. Okay, students, so now we will check our understanding what we have learned from today's video. So let us uh, check. So some activities we will do. First one is you tick the correct answer. Uh, so question number one, which one of the following does not make a substance a resource? A, utility, B, value, C, quantity. So the correct answer is quantity. Okay, because all of you know that resource, uh, all resources have two uh, characteristics. One is utility or usability. Second one is value. So quantity is, uh, is the thing that does not make a substance into a resource next question which one of the following is a human-made resource 
okay medicines to treat cancer spring water tropical forest okay so answers are colored by red color so medicines to treat cancer is a human medicine so we can make medicines to treat cancer we have made okay but spring water and tropical forest are natural resources we have not made those okay they are being created by the nature itself next is biotic resources biotic resources are uh, uh, derived from living things okay made by human beings derived from non living things the correct option answer is derived from living things biotic resources are those which resources derived from living things next is fill in the blanks so question number 1 is a dish is anything that can be used to satisfy a need yes students yes resource resource is anything that can be uh, used to satisfy a need next question utility and dash are two characteristics of a resource yes students utility and value utility and value are two characteristics of a resource next is uh, time and dash are two important factors that can change substances into resources the correct answer is time and technology yes students time and technology are two important factors that uh, can change substances into resources so next question the discovery of fire led to the practice of yes cooking the discovery of fire led to the practice of cooking next question the technology to create dash has turned energy in fast flowing water into an input and resource yes the technology to create hydroelectricity has turned energy in fast flowing water into an input and resource next question the exclusive right over any idea or invention is called yes patent p a t e n t patent next question the application of latest knowledge and skill in doing or making things is called yes technology next is the amount of resources available for use is called stock of resource next carefully utilizing resources so that besides meeting the requirements of the present also takes care of future generation is called sustainable develop development okay students next question resources are generally classified into natural human made and human resource next question resources that are drawn from nature and used without much modification are called natural resources next natural resources can be broadly categorized into renewable and non renewable resources okay next question resources which are get renewed or replenished quickly are called renewable resources students next is improving the quality of people skills so that they are able to create more resources is known as a yes, students human resource development next human resource refers to a number that means quantity and dash of the people a yes, students ability mental and physical act abilities okay next uh, using resources carefully and giving them a time to get renewed is called a yes, students resource conservation next buildings bridges roads machinery and vehicles are examples of man made resources next coal petroleum and natural gas are some of examples of non renewable resources next say true or false first one is metals don't have economic value but a beautiful landscape have, has economic value so this statement is false because uh, metals have economic value but a beautiful landscape have no economic value next the discovery of fire led to the practice of cooking this statement is correct true next solar and wind energy are renewable resources yes this one is also true next all resources have some value yes students this is also correct all resources have some value because resources have two characteristics characteristics one is utility or usability second one is your value okay now we will discuss some more question answer first one is why are resources distributed unequally over the earth why are resources distributed unequally over the earth answer is the distribution of resources depends upon a number of physical factors like terrain that means land 
climate and altitude. Since these factors differ so much over the year, the distribution of resources is also unequal. Next question, what is resource conservation? Using resources carefully and giving them time to get renewed is called resource conservation. Next is, why are human resources important? People can make the best use of nature to create more resources Why? when they have the knowledge, skill and technology to do so. This is why human beings are a special resource. It is the abilities of human beings which help in transferring a physical material into a valuable resource. And human resources are important. Okay. So that's why human resources are important. Next question. What is sustainable development? Balancing the need to use resources and also conserving them for the future is called sustainable development. And in other words, sustainable development means utilizing resources in such a manner that not only are the present requirements okay, met, but also the needs of the future generation are taken care of. Next question. Uh, differentiate between the following that is a potential resource and actual resource. So the first one is a resource whose entire quantity is not known that is your called potential resource and a resource whose uh, quantity is known that is called your actual resource. The second difference is uh, potential resource not being used at the present but could be used in the future and actual resources uh, being used in the present time. Next, potential resource, the present level of technology is not advanced enough to utilize uh, potential resource and uh, actual resource, the present level of technology is advanced through uh, enough to utilize, utilize it. Then uh, example of potential resource, the uranium found in Ladakh, which could be used in the future. Now, now this is potential resource, okay. In the future, maybe it can be converted into actual resource, okay. The dark soils of the Deccan Plateau in Maharashtra is a, example of uh, actual resource. Next is the difference between ubiquitous and a localized resource. So ubiquitous means a resource which is found everywhere and a localized means a resource which is found only in certain places. For example, the air we breathe is a, a ubiquitous resource. We can find air everywhere and uh, uh, example of localized resources copper. All the minerals, okay, all the minerals, gold, silver, copper are the localized resource. Those can be only found in particular places, not all over the, uh, means all over the world. Okay, students, so uh, this was today's class. We have learned about the resources, okay. So uh, keep learning, keep growing, uh, have a better future. Okay, hope you all, uh, hope all of you have understood what I have, uh, what we have discussed. So uh, wish you all the best for the future. Okay, keep learning, keep growing. Thank you.